on this week's episode of Metal Industries, I try to figure out what it's going to take to get the windscreen washers to function in this car again. And I've got windscreen wipers. Oh. But I'm assuming this button here is for the windscreen washer module. And nothing happens. And I'll show you why in a moment. The windscreen washers are supposed to go into this little slot here and as you can see there are none in fact there's no windscreen washer system in here at all it doesn't really come as much of a surprise the car's pretty old and generally speaking when you paint these things all of that stuff's got to come out and i guess it just hasn't gone back in so today i'm going to Install an aftermarket kit. The only Ford parts I need for this project are obviously the squirters that go under the grill next to the window, and these are the ones. Now, it was hard to get photos of which ones I needed because there are all different versions of these available on eBay depending on what model the car is. I mean, XAs are different to XBs. As far as I could tell, XBs and XCs were the same. So I took a punt and bought these XB ones. I also bought this generic windscreen washer kit. With all the bits and bobs I'll need for this project. Wiring harness, bottle, hose, joiners, and even a whole bunch of other pieces that I won't use. And uh, hopefully that'll be enough to get this job done. This is not easy to do with one hand. Right, the first problem is that that is not going to sit flush without cutting a giant hole in this lip so that sits flat so that's not going to work. Those two spaces would do the trick. like it will do. I should probably clear the bonnet without too much drama. hose kit hasn't given me enough plastic hose to bridge the gap from where the hose ends to where the tank goes so fortunately I've got plenty of BMW stuff lying around that I'm going to utilize well that's the plumbing done the jets are in the hoses are all connected to the pump so what I'm going to do now See if this pump works. I'm running some water through it. Positive. Negative. Sounds like it's working. The tricky part now is going to be finding how to get power to that pump from the dash switch. So it might have something to do with the wiring harness that goes to the windscreen wiper motor. I don't know where in here it's going to be, so I'm going to have to have a bit of a poke around in the wiring harness to see what I can find to have figured out where in this manual all the wires go. 
fun, fun, fun. And it tells me that I'm looking for a grey wire with a black tracer and a violet wire with a yellow tracer to plug into my washer motor, which is all the way over there. And I found found the grey wire with a black tracer, and I've stripped all the uh, wiring harness tape off the wiring harness, and I found this plug here, which ah. has what I seek, and it's been piggybacked with something else, so I'm assuming this has had a washer bottle in the past that's ended up over there somewhere. I don't have no idea where these wires have gone, or what they're currently doing now, but I've rigged up some wires to test my theory to see if these are what I think they are. Now this switch earth is out under the dash so basically the wire is live to the motor and then back under the dash and when you push the switch in completes the circuit to earth and makes the washer motor work. Alright, I found what the uh, old wiring was, it was indeed an old plug to connect to an old washer bottle but I tried it and it didn't work so I've made up another one with the wiring harness that was supplied with the washer bottle kit and I spliced in some leftover stereo wire which I've connected to the existing loom at this end right now let's see if I've got a washer that actually works that a resounding success. Yep. Success! This leaking uh, washer bottle is not much chop though. I'll um, have to look into why that's leaking. Hopefully it's an easy fix.